Hello, this is Dr. Amber from LA, Los Angeles. I'm a naturopathic doctor here and I wanted to talk about BPC-157 today and all of the benefits. So BPC-157, uh, the BPC stands for Body Protection Compound and there's a couple ways to take this specific peptide. So we can take it through an oral capsule uh, which you can swallow, which I have here. Uh, we can inject it, or we can use it intranasally, which is absorbed through the blood-brain barrier and goes to the brain. Uh, so there's specific indications for each. We'll talk about all of the uses for BPC-157. Some of the most valuable uses are for pain. Uh, patients have reported that their chronic pain has resolved. Uh, also for injury, so for athletes, we can use BPC-157 to promote healing of the connective tissue. So we know that it helps you heal faster uh, post-workout. Uh, it helps bone, muscle, ligament, tendon, in addition to the cornea, the eyes, the intestines, the nervous system. We found that it helps to uh, promote myelin, myelin sheets in the nervous system. Uh, we also can use BPC-157 for mood. So uh, I love using the capsules or the intranasal for that. We know that uh, in the gut is where our neurotransmitters, most of our neurotransmitters are made. So our serotonin, our dopamine, and our GABA are our three neurotransmitters uh, that are impacted. But all three of those systems are impacted by BPC-157. Uh, and so our serotonin is our mood. Uh, our you know elation and joy and our GABA is our inhibitory calm down ready to go to sleep uh, relaxation neurotransmitter and our dopamine is our go-getter drive motivation um, and kind of our thrill pleasure seeking neurotransmitter so we need to keep those balanced uh, to support mood uh, so it can be helpful in anxiety and depression to use something like BPC-157 to improve the gut because uh, when we improve the gut, we also improve the brain because of the gut-brain axis. Uh, other uses for BPC-157 are it helps with brain function and you can use it pre-workout. So it'll help create nitric oxide, so NO. Uh, and nitric oxide is something that you can get in beets, you can drink beet juice, uh, you can take uh, arginine, you can also get it in citrulline malate, which is found in the rinds of watermelon and many other sources, but you can use BPC-157 as a, a way to get more nitric oxide as well. So that's just oxygenating, oxygenating the brain and the body. We can also use it in acid reflux on patients who are taking proton pump inhibitors. So that's a drug, the PPIs are drugs that they use uh, to suppress the acid production. And while we're weaning them off of that drug, we can use BPC-157 to support the intestinal healing, uh, uh, the gut healing digestive tract, and uh, wean them off of that drug. We can also use it for muscle recovery, uh, it helps to create F-actin, which is important in the sarcomere for muscle contraction. So it's gonna help with muscle recovery. Uh, in addition, we can use it post uh, use of steroids. So, you know, use of cortisone shots or even oral corticosteroids are pretty common now as an anti-inflammatory treatment. But when we inject cortisone into the joint, it ends up destroying the long-term result, the, uh, the joint space and the tissue uh, in there. So that is not a good option long-term. So we wanna use something like BPC-157 to promote uh, the connective tissue, healing of the connective tissue. In addition, we can also use BPC-157 for addiction. So for patients who are uh, on opioid withdrawal, alcohol withdrawal, any type of addiction, because it balances the neurotransmitters and it works through the gut-brain axis, uh, it can really be helpful in addiction as well. And we can combine it with a different peptide called DSIP, which stands for Delta Sleep Inducing Peptide. 
Uh, and those two in combination are really helpful for addiction. The last use that I'm going to talk about is using BPC-157 for Lyme and for mold. So these two uh, generally have very non-specific symptoms. So it's usually fatigue, you know, low level of fatigue, brain fog, difficulty sleeping, it could be some skin issues. Uh, but if you have lived in a house that had mold or you've been, uh, you've contracted Lyme from a deer tick or any other source, uh, these can be really, really helpful. BPC-157 is great intranasally, so you're breathing it in, goes through the blood-brain barrier, and it helps with brain fog. Uh, it can be really supportive for anybody who's detoxing that way. So BPC-157, you can find this on my website, which is www.dramberND.com.